Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a video to show you how to draw a flower pot. Now I'm sure a lot of you are not going to use a flower pot ever in your AutoCAD drawings, but it's just to show you how to use the loft function in AutoCAD. Uh, it's one you're going to use quite a lot, so I'm just going to draw a simple flower pot to show you how to use the loft function. So to start with, I'm going to draw a circle. And another circle, same center point, just a bit bigger, because this is going to be the top of the flower, point, the flower pot. And just another circle to give it a bit more thickness at the top. So then I'm going to rotate to a 3D view. Delete that. I'm going to move these two circles up. And that's about the height that I want on this flower pot. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this circle, the outside circle. Just copy it up a bit. Make it a bit wider. I'm going to do that in the top view. Make it a bit wider. So as you can see, it's already starting to form a flower pot. Just a very basic flower pot. So the function I want to use is a loft function. So to start with, I'm going to click on the loft function. I'm going to select the bottom circle and then the inside circle of these two that I copied up. And accept the loft. And then again, the same with these two circles. I'm going to select the bottom one where it's going to start, the top one to where it's going to go. And right click to select that function right click again to accept the loft that it's created so as you can see it's a very basic flower pot that we're left with so the loft function you can use in quite a lot of situations let's say you want to draw a pipe and you want to put in a reducer you can use this function as well so just to complete the flower pot um, i'm gonna join these two with the solid union function then I'm gonna use the shell function just to hollow out the pot and that's the face that I want to remove and I'm gonna use just a small radius of 1.8 and as you can see that it's hollowed out the pot so if you want to make it look a bit better, you can use the fillet function as well. So as you can see, the radius is a bit small. So I'm going to deselect that. And I'm going to the fillet edge function again. I'm going to enter R for radius. And I'm just going to make it about 0.5. Select that again. Select this one. Select the interior as well, one going up and below, and the, this one as well. So just to make it look a bit better, and there you can see the flower pot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you to understand how to use the loft function. Thank you. Bye bye.